Hello, this is David Woodruff. I want to talk with you here for just the next few minutes about a uh, online resource that I use in order to be able to put together quick little quizzes that you can use before class, you can use during class, and you can get feedback right away on these quizzes so that you know, you know what's going on and, and what your students are doing. And they can see in real time what's happening as well. So this is called Socrative. So if you go to Socrative.com, you can sign up for a free account. Now you see it's, they're advertising here the Pro, uh, so they want to sell you the Pro account. Uh, there are some advantages to having the Pro. If you use this a lot, you may decide that that's something you want to invest in. Uh, I do not have the Pro account. I have a free account. So I'm going to show you what happens with a free account. So I'm going to go up here to the top where it says Teacher Login, and I'm going to log in here with my uh, email address and my password. And uh, we're going to go into the main uh, dashboard. So this is the main dashboard. And with this, you can start off by doing a few different things. You can do a quiz. So that's number one. And that's probably primarily what you're going to be using this for, is developing a quiz. So you can put in your questions ahead of time so that you're all ready to go. And then when you're done putting all these questions into your quiz, uh, you'll just simply give a code to your students who will go to Socrative or Socrative on their app, on their phone, and then they can take the quiz. Space Race is a, a mechanism by which you can have a timed quiz. And it, it, it's kind of fun because students have to try to uh, compete with each other in order to be able to, to complete the quiz in a certain amount of time. Uh, then next one is an exit ticket. So you can use an exit ticket, uh, that being a question you're asking your students or questions you're asking your students before they leave the class. So this is something like uh, you may have heard of like the muddiest point where we ask students to be able to give us a muddiest point uh, as they're leaving uh, the classroom so that we have an idea as to what is still unclear to them and we need to clear up with our next class. So we could do the same thing here with our exit ticket, and there's a mechanism for doing that. There's also mechanisms for doing a quick question. So let's say, for example, that you're in the midst of your class, and suddenly it just comes to you, oh, <laughs> I can see that, uh, or I, maybe you don't know uh, how well this concept went over, and you want to try and find out some information from the class, you can whip up a quick multiple choice question, a true false question, or a short answer question uh, that you can whip up right there in class. And so this may be uh, you know, another mechanism that you want to use as well. So let's just take a look at the quiz. Launches the quiz, and here is a quiz that's already been put together, the World Facts Quiz. Okay, so that's one that's already, they, they put it into your account when you open an account. So there's, I didn't make it, it's just there. Okay, so I could search, if I've got lots and lots of quizzes here, I could search through them with a search box and try to find the quiz that I'm looking for. You can see I don't <laughs> have a lot of quizzes in there. So let's just open this uh, World Facts Quiz so you can take a look at what it looks like. Uh, so here's uh, some of the mechanisms we can have. We can get instant feedback. Uh, we can open up navigation. We can have teacher paste uh, quiz, etc. So uh, we're, we're going to decide which one of these we want to have. So uh, let's just say that we're going to have a teacher based uh, paste uh, quiz. And then we can go through here. We can shuffle the answers, shuffle or show question feedback, show final scores, etc. And then we go ahead and we start the quiz. Okay, so here is the quiz, and we can start it for our class. Our students will go through and they'll say, you know, what is the world's longest river? And they will pick the correct answer. And then what happens is as this is going on, you're going to be able to get instant feedback. And you're going to be able to see how students are answering the questions in the quiz. Okay, so let's go back to our launch space here. And uh, we can go through and we can uh, look at the quizzes we have. So the quick little uh, cut to our quizzes here. So we can go through and we could edit. All right, so uh, we can copy the quiz. We can download it. We can share it. Uh, we can go in and we can edit it. Uh, we can merge quizzes to put two together. We can start a new quiz. Uh, we can have a room. So now this, this is something that they really push for with Socrative Pro, is that you can add rooms. So you can have more rooms that have uh, students in them. This would be great if you're teaching multiple sections of a class or maybe multiple uh, sections of an online class where you want to, or you know, maybe you're moving your, your students into small groups and you want to move them into different rooms. Uh, reports, you can get a number of different reports. 
uh, so you can get reports on uh, and an exit quiz uh, on your world facts, etc. Uh, so you just run through and you ask for the report you want. It's going to give you uh, some specifics. Or it's going to ask you for some specific specifics about how you want that to look, and then you can download it or you can email it to yourself so you can use that quiz. Okay. And then results would be in this last category. Nobody's taken a quiz all the way through here. So if we had results, they would show up there in the last section, and we would be able to see the results. And they compile in real time. So you'd be able to tell what's happening with the quizzes that you're actually doing right now. So that's just a quick little run through of what Socrative can do for you in providing quizzes that you can use real time in your classroom to help you to be able to find out what's going on with your students and what your students know. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, bye now.